to 5 minute school and in today's video we're going to discuss bronze said Lowry acids and bases, conjugate bases, conjugate acids and I'm going to give you some examples of equations and we're going to identify which ones are the acids and bases and which ones are the conjugate acids and bases. Okay so let's begin. As we know from the definition of the Bronsted Lowry acids and bases, an acid is a proton donor, so it's donating protons or hydrogen ions. The base, however, is a proton acceptor, so it's the one which is accepting protons or hydrogen ions. Now, the conjugate base is the product resulting from the acid losing a proton, and the conjugate acid is the product resulting from the base gaining a proton. Now you're gonna see it in maybe in some of your exams you'll be given an equation and you're gonna to have to identify which ones are the acids and bases and which ones are the conjugate bases and conjugate acids. So we're gonna discuss that now but just so you know the conjugate base is the product resulting from the acid losing a proton and the conjugate acid is the product resulting from the base gaining a proton. The conjugate, pair, the conjugate bases and acids will always be on the right side of the equation in most cases. So let's have a look at these examples. So here at the top we have hydrogen chloride plus H2O gives chloride ions and hydroxonium ions. So, you get a hen. So because the hydrogen will be donated to the water here, we know that the hydrogen chloride will be the acid. And therefore, because the, ha the water will be accepting the, pro the hydrogen, we know that this will be the base. Now, from the definition we just talked about, the conjugate base is the product resulting from the acid losing a proton. So that by elimination, because this one is the one which is the product resulting from the acid losing a proton, this one is the conjugate base. Now this one is the hydroxonium ion. Now a conjugate acid is the product resulting from the base, sorry, the conjugate acid is the product resulting from the base gaining a proton. So this makes this the conjugate acid. Let's have a look at the equation below. We have uh, CH3COOH, which is ethanoic acid, and a hydroxide ion. The ethanoic acid will donate the hydrogen as we can see from the equation, the hydrogen here has been donated. So we know that the ethanoic acid will be the acid, the proton donator, and this will be the base, the proton acceptor. So by elimination, or just through the, what we've just learned, we know that the conjugate base is the product resulting from the acid losing an electron. So this is the conjugate base. and the water molecule here will be the conjugate acid because it's the product of the base gaining a, a, a proton or hydrogen ion, so conjugate acid. And let's look at this, this one here, water plus NH2. We know that the water will donate its hydrogen atom so we know that the water will be the acid in this case and NH2 will be the base because it will be accepting the proton so the hydroxide ion here will be the conjugate base because it's the product resulting in the acid losing a proton and then this will be the conjugate acid because it's the product of the base gaining a, a, a proton. So I hope that clears it up for any of you watching. If you have any questions write them in the comment below 
and make sure you subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye